so uh, so here we are on uh, another day here in Las Vegas. Just another day uh, for me to get ready for this. Olympia. I just picked up Robbie from MD at the hotel here and uh, heading off to the therapy session, uh, which is a day. So every day, most bodybuilders, you know, do their cardio, they train, they get ready for their competition. But for me, a lot more goes into what I do, um, especially with uh, a lot of tissue work. You know, I, I, I keep, you know, making a point to talk about how much deep tissue I actually do, and people, I don't think, realize how much I actually do. I spend about two hours a day, at least five days a week, um, going to now physical therapy where I work all different parts of my body each day it seems to be something different but my main focus is still working my hamstrings and glute and leg and my back and arm and um, my shoulder uh, all different things to try to keep myself flexible and and also keep my body functioning right because through all the training especially you know I've been training now for almost 19 years uh, pretty much at this level I mean I was you know, started 18 pretty much full time like I am now. I, you know, competed team nationals, won that, and then earned my professional card uh, three years later at the nationals when I was 23. So, um, you know, I've been pretty much a full time bodybuilder for the last uh, 19 years since I pretty much started. So, of course, you know, being 37 actually today, it's my 37th birthday, I'm actually, uh, you know, you, you have those kinks that are in your body. I feel really, really solid, but. Um, I think, you know, you have to stay up with the therapy to keep your body functioning right. And, you know, for me, I, I've had, you know, several things in my body. Never had a major injury, but I've had just certain things that, you know, muscle binding problems that just um, didn't allow me to train properly. So um, for me to be able to, you know, see a therapist on a daily basis right now, I'm going to... Uh, you know, um, a place where um, they see me every single day and, and work certain things in my body, um, which is part of my daily routine. So right now you're looking at um, me getting ready for the Mr. Olympia. You know, I did 40 minutes of stairs this morning, um, ate my meal. Um, right now coming to, to get Robbie to head to therapy for um, an hour or two. Um, I'll train and twice with weights and eat my seven meals and you know right now being just under eight weeks I'm still not doing my second session of cardio which will eventually kick in here as I need to get leaner um, so you know I'm still in the gym four times a day therapy session for two hours a day eating my seven meals which is seven hours a day preparation um, and then as we get closer you know we, we're constantly doing videos and and uh, working on, you know, doing photo shoots and, and also uh, practicing my posing, putting together my posing routine, which I already started, uh, you know, thinking of uh, what kind of uh, voiceover and what I'm not. I'm going to start to try to put that together. I'm talking with my music guy back in Massachusetts right now on that. So it's, you know, it's a long process to get ready. I mean, it's probably 14 weeks of training specifically for the Mr. Olympia. Um, I stayed in therapy all through the year. Fortunate to have certain people doing the therapy sessions for me, which you know today I got you know two hours here at Advanced Manual Therapy, which Dr. Mike you'll meet him and he'll work on me, and then tomorrow I see Glenn Hall with the Biosync Clinic. He works on me for two two hours tomorrow, uh, which is a different different type of therapy, a lot of chi. Um, and then I have a massage guy coming twice a week to my house. So, you know, this is just one of the few things that I'm doing. Um, I do this every single day, but I do the other stuff on top of it. So, uh, you know, I, I spend probably almost 10 hours a week at advanced manual therapy, um, two hours a week with Glenn Hall at the Biosync Clinic, that's 12 hours. Um, and then another hour and a half each session, so another three hours of, of deep tissue massage. So you're looking at, you know, 14 hours 14 hours a week, you know, just um, in therapy sessions. I mean, it's... So, you know, I mentioned the therapy sessions I go to. Today with advanced manual therapy, this, the guy I see today is actually uh, a manual therapist, which is one of the rare certifications. He he's pretty much does everything. He does um, active release. He does neuromuscular therapy. He does deep tissue massage. Um, he does it all, pretty much. He's licensed. There's only, I think... 
uh, two or three advanced manual therapists in Las Vegas. So uh, he does everything from walk on me to you know tissue work to suction cups, everything to release muscle tissue. Uh, that's Dr. Mike, who's uh, with Advanced Manual Therapy. He worked on me last year as Olympia too. Glenn Hall from the Biosync Clinic. Now he works with Chi, which is um, he uses his body and breathing and um, a lot of uh, foot techniques. Um, he actually untwines the muscles, so it's kind of a rare uh, type of massage where I actually don't even take my clothes off for this. Uh, pretty much, you know, he puts me on the floor. He puts me in all different positions, and uh, he pretty much. Uh, you know, steps all over my body and helps untwine the muscle. He works a lot with my psoas um, to release a lot of tension from my back from compression from a lot of the heavy squats. Um, keeps pretty much the body functioning right. And, you know, I learned to, to do certain breathing techniques with him. Um, he's a martial artist, so uh, he, he's taught me a lot about breathing and actually relaxing the muscle as you get deeper into the muscle and and work it, especially uh, places like the psoas, which aren't usually common places where a lot of therapists work. He gets right into my, basically into my stomach muscles and releases my back that way, which, you know, last year, I had a lot of compression on my spine. I actually did decompression uh, with the, the DRX 9000 uh, decompression beds, which um, is an expensive technique where you, you know, I actually sit in a machine and it pulls your back apart. Um, he can pretty much do this with the Biosync Clinic uh, you know, manually, which is, um, it's very, very expensive, um, but he is the only one actually in Las Vegas that practices this technique, so, um, you know, I see him every week for two hours, Glenn Hall, and then um, I have a girl that stretches me at least twice a week, uh, Kelly Decalotti, she actually uh, works with me for 30 or 40 minutes a week stretching, uh, especially my hamstrings um, and quads and uh, my lower back, um, because everything seems to get very, very tight especially now this this time of year with the training so it's just so much more that goes into you know Jay Cutler training for the Mr. Olympia um, that's why I plant myself basically in Las Vegas and pretty much stay home I don't travel at all 12 weeks prior to the Mr. Olympia I won't leave my house um, just it's just pure business of training and I always thought you know if I was never wanted to be the best I could possibly be. Um, I would be probably stay home all year and refuse all guest posings and and all my my kind of appearances because I think I could be a much better bodybuilder if I did that. The problem is I'm not able to do that being the ambassador of bodybuilding and being Mr. Olympia. Um, I wish I could stay home every week. I wish I could just focus solely on on training because I know I could be so much better. But um, that's you know that's part about being a pro and that's what I miss most about being an amateur. When I wasn't traveling, guest posing as much, I focused solely on just training. And but of course, the benefits weren't as 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 much as they are now financially. I mean, I was able to uh, I was barely able to eat at that time. You know, I couldn't afford to, that much um, back when I wasn't making an income at it. So you know, I'm fortunate now to be able to be the top bodybuilder, being able to earn money with endorsements and, and guest appearances. But uh, everything uh, comes with with. Uh, with a toll of trying to, you know, travel and try to balance all those things out too. So every year is, you know, now I've been training for, like I said, almost 19 years and being Mr. Olympia, everyone assumes that, you know, I know everything. I've learned my body to the fullest. There's nothing new I can really learn, but you know, every year I've learned something different. And this year is a prime example of where, you know, I think, you know, this year I've trained a lot smarter since last year's Olympia like uh, you know I try to think okay what did I do differently last year like more more effort or you know did I train any different you know what why am I going to show up at this year's Mr. Olympia with improvements and you know looking at the big picture and I and, you know looking back now that this question has arised I think what I really through the experience have learned this year is I've learned to really feel the muscle more um, where I'm training you know pretty heavy but I used to do everything for 12 repetitions. This year I did sixes and eights. I worked on more squeezing um, and, you know, negatives to really kind of feel just, instead of just throwing weight. I used to go in the gym and, you know, let's, let's take an example for back training. I used to do the weight stacks for pull downs. I used to do the heaviest dumbbell I could for one arm rows. You know, this year now, you know, I'm feeling every rep. So if I do pull downs, you know, I try to hold at the bottom for a count of one or two. I try to do fuller rep range. Um, with dumbbell rows, you know, I've now focused on crossing the body in the front, 
pulling it back instead of pulling to my waist I try to pull actually past my hip to try to get more extension and get more of the lower lat involved to try to bring of course you know my back which has been my main focus for this year um, there's just so many different things you know I go in you know I do dumbbell presses for shoulders I do much more um, instead of just exploding through you know 8 to 12 repetitions just boom 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 focusing on pushing the weight I actually start to feel it more so um, you know I've learned now to more muscle control I mean I'm, I am 37 so I can't throw weights like I did at 22 without of course have, risking that chance of injury I mean I always think in my head you know the chances are if I do get injured you know it's 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 over for me so I have to always keep that in mind and I have to be smart about my training and you know we learn different things and and I think my body because of how big it is um, it, working more detail into my physique rather than trying to get bigger is the most important thing of course you still have to train heavy but you know I'm not I'm not training for one or two reps like a power lifter I'm not trying to be a power lifter I'm not going in the gym thinking okay today I need to bench 405 or I need to squat 500 it's never about the weight it's always every day feeling different I mean I might go in next week um, after this week and feel that 315 on the squat was better than 405 I mean really it depends on what your work um, what your work pattern is how tired you're feeling um, you know what your workload's been you know if my, if my cardio picks up this week if I have to start doing double sessions I have to take that into account I can't just go in the gym every week now leading up to the show thinking I'm gonna do more and more weight you know you have to be smart you have to use your head there's a lot of things you have to do so you know I'm taking that into mind and of course you know I, I am the best bodybuilder in the world at this point and I plan on, on keeping that come September